Hi, I'm Dan, doing another guest review for geekanoids.co.uk and their YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash geekanoids. Today I'm actually doing another app review for them on the iPad. Today I'll be reviewing the uh, Things app from Cultured Code. Now, this app is an absolutely fantastic to-do productivity um, organizer and uh, manager. It really does make uh, a busy workflow quite easy. Now, the first thing you'll see happen when I, open, when I launch this app is that you'll see a syncing screen. And the reason you'll see this, hopefully, there we go, there's the syncing screen. Now, what happens there is that um, for the Things app on the Mac, on the, the Mac desktop, compatible with uh, Mac OS 10.5 or later, um, you can synchronize uh, to-dos, projects, and uh, which to-dos you have completed and which are yet to be completed when they should be completed by. All the information you need to keep yourself organized and up to date on all platforms. Now, down the side panel, you've got the inbox. Now, this is a list of to-dos um, where you don't know where they should go yet. So, I'm quite organized. I don't actually have any in there. In the today, these are ones that are to be completed by today. You'll see in here, I've got collect M Audio Studio file AV40s. There's some speakers that were due to arrive in the post today, and they did. If we click on next, we've got a list of all of the um, upcoming to-dos uh, whether they've been set a date or not, all categorised. Now you'll see in, I've got three categories, Technolicious, Schoolwork and Shedfed. Now these are just some, uh, some personal projects, but um, these can obviously be anything you want. So I've got film, uh, a re an iPad review, uh, I've got an invoice for some, some web hosting, and then in school I've got some, some read, I've got a book to read, and then in Shedfed some things to collect in the post. So all of these things uh, you can have a note for, you can set a complete date, so um, if we just tap on um, uh, collect 4x6 meter guitar leads, you'll see that it comes up in this really nicely displayed panel there, and just in the notes it says £20 from eBay. So uh, obviously in that note you can have whatever you want. You can also send this as an email to someone else, you can move it to a different category, or you can show it in today if you want to make it a little bit more urgent. In the scheduled, you can set to-dos that you want to start at a future date. So if you know something's about to happen, but you don't know when it's going to happen or it hasn't started yet, this is the place for them to go. In the someday, maybe you're thinking of something far, far in the future, or something you'd just like to write down, then it would go in here. In the projects section, I've got three projects. In Technolicious, we've got all the things that um, are up and coming and haven't been checked. And then the ones that have been logged, the ones that I've already done, are all of these uh, reviews and things that I had written in. And then the same with, if we click on Shedford, you'll see that we've got all the to-dos that have been logged and ticked off. Um, or were for a, a past date, and then the things that are still active and still need to do. If we go to the logbook, this is just a, li a complete list of all the things that I've completed. The reason it's called things is you can't fit everything into one category, so it's a thing. It's a thing to do. It's available on the App Store for £5.99. It used to be £11.99, so I think this price reduction is... Um, makes the app definitely well worth it, especially with its syncing capabilities with the Mac, available from Cultured Code. The app is iOS 4 tested so that when it is released on the iPad, that's all ready to go. And also, uh, there is an available iPhone version of the app. If you have an iPad, an iPhone, and a Mac, these can all keep synchronized really conveniently over Wi-Fi. No plugging it into iTunes, just over Wi-Fi, which I think is a really important and brilliant feature. So this has been my review of Things for the iPad from Cultured Code. This video review is sponsored by EasyDraw, making drawing fun on Mac OS X.